Hey, hello everybody. My name is Martin and I'm very happy that you're watching the Bax Music UK YouTube channel. In today's video, I got something special for you because Apogee just released a new audio interface that I get to talk to you about. In this video, the Apogee Boom. Let's check it out. The Apogee Boom is a two-in, two-out audio interface made by the renowned Apogee. They've been creating high-quality audio equipment for the past 35 plus years, and all that knowledge and experience has come together in a portable bus power 2i 2o interface, something that's affordable for somebody who's starting out or somebody who doesn't have the greatest budget but still wants something of Apogee quality. So that's what we're looking at today with the Apogee Boom. In this video, I'll talk about the specifications of this audio interface, including the I.O. and the special features that you get on board of this unit. So let's dive right into it. As you can tell from a front and back perspective, this interface in terms of I.O. is kept very, very simple, which is very nice if you're starting out or don't have the need for all the bells and whistles and just want the Apogee quality at an affordable price point. Well, that's exactly what you are getting with the Apogee Boom. So we'll start off by looking at the front of this 2i 2o interface, starting out with the 2i, the two inputs, which we'll find in the form of a combination XLR jack cable. So you can either plug in an XLR cable or a jack cable, depending on your needs. And next to it, we have another jack input so you can put a quarter inch jack in there or 6.3 millimeter jack cable depending on your needs so if you got a microphone you got channel one for that and if you got a stereo output let's say you have two line outs from a digital piano for instance you can plug that in in both one and two so you can get full stereo recordings and those two inputs and also the outputs which i'll get to in a little bit are controlled by this knob at the front on the other side of the interface. This is a rotary dial which you can click to select your channels and up or down the volume or dial in the gain of your microphone or line level signals. So it's a very basic interface with simple to understand controls but it has the Apogee quality in store with some extra special features that I'll get to after I discuss the I.O. So, Flipping the interface around, we'll have a look at the back where we first noticed a USB port. And this interface is USB bus powered. So you don't need to have a power supply or you know, net power to go along with the interface. If you have a laptop or an iPad, you can control this interface using the Apogee Connect 2 app. And this will communicate with either your computer or your iPad, depending on what you're using. And it will also power the interface through the USB connection. So that is really nice. It's made out of metal with thick rubber feet, so you can put it down anywhere. It's made to take a little bit of a beating. Of course, you don't want to throw your audio interface around, but it's made to be transported. It's sturdy. It's nice. It, feel, it has a nice weight to it, which gives me a trusted feeling in this interface and, of course, the Apogee quality that comes along with it. Next to that, we find a headphone out. So if you're on the go and you got a headphone, you want to listen to what you're recording, which is something that I would definitely recommend, then that is something that you can plug in right here. And if you're in a studio setting and two inputs are all that you need, then you have two outputs for your monitors, which you can plug in here, left and right. And this interface will be the hub for your recording. Over the past 35 years, Apogee has learned a lot and they're known for building some very, very high quality interfaces. But all that experience, all that time building some flagship level audio interfaces like the Symphony IO has had an impact on a budget friendly interface like the Apogee Boom. In this interface, you have hardware DSP, digital signal processing, which is running the Symphony ECS channel strip, which you can listen to in real time as you're recording because all the processing is being run by the hardware DSP chip that is hidden inside here, allowing you for great control over your audio through the Apogee Connect 2 app, which works on all platforms and communicates with all DAWs and of course the iPad as stated before. This interface allows you to record in 24-bit 192 kilohertz using Apogee's pure digital connection. All in all, this interface has everything you need to start recording at super high quality audio with the control that you're expecting from an Apogee interface, but for a much lower price point. That sums up the Apogee boom in a nutshell. For additional information, you can of course click the link in the description below that'll take you to the Bax Music UK website where you can read all the information at your own leisure. But if you have any questions or suggestions, you can drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to read all of your commentary. And if I don't know the answer myself, I'll 
try and find a colleague who does and get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please do leave us a like. And if you want to see more of these videos or be up to date on new releases like this one, do subscribe to the Bax Music UK YouTube channel. I'm very happy that you're watching this video and I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye.